Awesome, what are we drawing today? Conversation hearts. Yeah, Valentine's is coming up and so we thought it would be fun to draw some candy hearts, conversation hearts. Yeah. They're called conversation hearts because they have words on them. Yeah. But we're also gonna put funny faces on them. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. Now, before we do that, we also wanna tell our art friends that this video, during the lesson, we're gonna be spotlighting some lucky art friends that participated in our last challenge time. What's the sound going to be when it pops up? You want to try again? Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> do one more try. <laughs> All right, what do our art friends need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah, something to color with. All right, let's get started. We're going to draw three different hearts, and we're going to draw them 3D. We're going to draw them three-dimensional. So let's first draw one heart over here, and we're, I'm going to draw... We're going to draw one side first. So there's one side. It kind of looks like an upside-down J. Yeah. Good job. And then we're going to do the other side. Coming around. And then connecting down at the bottom. Yeah. And then you can connect the other side. That's a good looking heart, buddy. A sharp one. A sharp one. <laughs> now we're going to make this look 3D. So we're first going to draw a line that comes straight down from the bottom of the sharp part. Yeah. Then we're going to draw a curve. Here we go, we're gonna start here, and then we're gonna curve around and end at that line. Whoop. So it kind of matches the heart shape. Yeah, good job. Oh, awesome. Now on this side, we're gonna draw another side that comes down like this and connects, and it looks kind of the same. Same thing on both sides. Oh, look at that. It looks like a 3D heart. That's got the depth in it. So it's got width, height, and also depth. Now let's draw another one, and we're going to draw it slightly different. So I'm going to turn my paper sideways like this so it's a little easier. And I'm going to draw another heart shape right next to it. So we'll draw both sides coming down to a point. Yeah, and the other side. And then connect it. All right, now this one we're going to draw slightly different. So up here, we're going to draw a little curve that comes out from the top like this and then down and connects to the other side. Yeah, good job. Now over here, we're going to draw a line that comes this way. So it comes to the right, comes out to the right. There you go, good job. Then we're going to draw a curve kind of like we did over here on this side. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down like this, around, and then it's gonna match. See how it matches the line? So we'll start here, come out, and then down and connect to there. <laughs> There's our second 3D heart. It looks awesome. Austin, how old are you? Seven. Seven, you could be super proud of your little hearts. Okay, let's draw another one down here at the bottom. I'm gonna draw it right here. I'm gonna draw another heart shape. Draw the other side, comes down to a point. Yeah, and then one more side. <laughs> now on this one, we're gonna draw another little line that comes down like this. It doesn't come straight down, and we're gonna draw it a little to the side. Yeah, now we're gonna do, we're gonna repeat that same shape that we did over here. We're gonna draw a line that curves around and matches the side of the heart. Now this one is just gonna be a short line that comes up like this and connects to the side. See that? So it's a little different than each one. Yeah! All right, awesome, we did it. We drew 3D hearts. Now we could draw even more hearts to fill our paper. That would be a cool challenge for our art friends. Yeah. But let's leave it just like this and we're gonna draw the words so that they're actual conversation hearts. Yeah. So which, what should we write on this one up here? Be mine. Be mine. Okay, we're gonna draw a, let's just do a B. B, right in the middle. <laughs> and then right below it, Let's write the word mine. So we're gonna first draw M, then an I, N. You might need to squish it so it fits. <laughs> kind of running out of room. And then an E at the end. 
You got it. It fits. <laughs> All right, now over here, what should we write on this one? Love. Love. All right. L O V E. Now, I should have mentioned that I'm writing the words low on the heart so that we have room for the eyes. And that's okay, you still have room up here. But I wanted to mention that to our art friends. What should we write down here? Cute. Cute. Okay, let's write it. We're going to write it a little lower so that we have room for the eyes. So C U T E. You're such a good writer. I like it, Austin. Now let's add the funny faces. We're gonna draw, let's draw two circles on this one up here. One in each side of the heart. <laughs> and this one you might have, might need to put the lips or the, the uh, mouth right here. So let's draw a smaller circle in the top right of each of those bigger circles. Yes. And then we're gonna color in the big circles but leave the little ones white. Now down here at the bottom, I'm gonna draw the mouth. You could draw it right here on the side. I'm gonna draw a happy face or a happy smile. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a tongue sticking out the bottom. <laughs> Let's add a funny face on this one. I'm gonna draw this one winking. So I'm gonna draw a sideways V and then another circle over here for the open eye and then a smaller circle inside and then color in the big circle. Now sometimes we fast forward the video or sometimes we may go too fast. What can our art friends do if they need more time? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can pause the video. All right, let's draw the mouth. We're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw a sideways M or a backwards three. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's trying to kiss. All right. You know what, we could add eyelashes on this one over here too. Okay, we're missing one last face. This one I'm gonna draw really happy. His eyes are closed, so I'm gonna draw two upside down U's. And then I'm gonna draw a really open, happy mouth. So I'm gonna draw the top part, and then I'm gonna draw the bottom part. Little U, and then an upside down U or a curve for the tongue, and then color in the top part. <laughs> job Austin. Now we still need to add a few more details. Let's add some wings to all of our hearts. So I'm going to draw a line that comes up on each side like that. Yep. Why not? You could draw like it. Hands. It kind of does look like hands. Now um, let's make this one a little bit longer and then we can draw the wings. So I'm going to draw a curve that comes down and then a zigzag back until it goes into the heart. Yeah. Zigzag. Yeah, and you could do the same thing on the other side. Curve, zigzag, down into the heart. <laughs> Should we add wings to all of them? I'm going to repeat that same step over here on this one. Draw a curve down, zigzag in, and same thing on the right side. Now this part, our, our friends may need to pause the video if we're going too fast, right? Yeah. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this one. <laughs> I love I love your wings. You did such a great job. Zigzag. Yeah, and then one more. <laughs> All right, I think we need to draw arms and also legs on yeah. our hearts. That that would make them look even funnier. I'm gonna draw a line that comes out on each side of this top one. And then we can add little fingers. So I'm going to draw a little popcorn shape for the hand. And I'll do the same thing over here. <laughs> then we could also draw legs. I'm going to draw a leg bent like this. Draw a sideways V if you have room. And then I'm going to draw a little raindrop shape at the end <laughs> for his foot. <laughs> then I'm going to do the same thing over here, just maybe even a straight line. That one's stepping on its head. Yeah, on the wing. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, it's wing, not yeah. its ear. Yeah, it does. It looks like he's totally going to kick him or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then a little foot on that one. And then let's do the same thing on this one. I'm going to draw these arms sticking straight up. 
Yeah. And then we could do the same thing. Add the little bumpy popcorn line for the hands. <laughs> and this one I'm going to draw legs coming straight down. <laughs> and then you can draw a little raindrop shape for the feet. Now we've got one more. Let's do, I'm going to do uh, an arm coming out this way and maybe a bent arm on this one and then draw that popcorn shape for the fingers. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw bent lines for his legs on both sides. <laughs> one on the other side and then a raindrop shape for the feet. <laughs> Austin, we did it. We finished our drawings, except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color them. They're going to look so much better colored in. Now, this part, we are going to fast forward one more time, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. Now while you're doing the wings, Austin, I'm going to show our art friends how to make our hearts look more 3D. Now we colored uh, each heart solid, so we color the whole thing pink or blue and yellow. But if we use a darker color, so this is a darker pink, on the side of the heart, and I'm just pressing lightly like this, it makes the side of the heart darker and it makes it look like it's, like there's shading on it. Yeah. It makes it look more 3D. Now I'm going to use a darker blue add shading to this heart and like an orange to make this heart look more 3D. All right, let's continue to fast forward. Yeah. Austin, great job on your hearts. I love how you colored them, especially how you added that darker color to make your hearts look more 3D. Did you have fun? Yeah. Which one's your favorite heart? Um, this one. The blue one? I like that one too, because no. he looks like he's Superman. Oh, for that one, yeah. you changed it. Okay. <laughs> Conversation we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we also want to congratulate all of the lucky art friends that were spotlighted during this lesson. Now parents, be sure to private message us your email address so that we can send them a prize. What should we send them? $20 to Amazon to buy more art supplies. Yeah, we can't wait to send it to you and we'll see you later art friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.